watching Let's Chat. Told you a little bit ago, what has got five miles of new lumber and gets painted from the waist down every year. That, of course, is Dollywood. Our friend Jennifer Webb is here to fill us in on what's been going on up at Dollywood and what we have to look forward to. Jennifer, good morning. Good morning, Chip. How are you? I am doing very well. Glad to have you here, even if it is virtually. You guys have got some new shows planned out at Dollywood. Tell us about the first one. Yeah, so that's one of the big things we're focusing on this year is bringing our guests some new entertainment. And we've got three new shows that guests are going to be able to enjoy when we open next Saturday, next Friday, if you're a season pass holder. Uh, but one of those new shows is called The Tones. And if you've been to Dollywood before, you're probably familiar with our doo-wop group in Jukebox Junction known as the Gem Tones. Well, we have kind of revamped them and moved them over to By the Train at our Village Depot stage that we created last year. And they're kind of dropping the doo-wop and the poodle skirts. And they're going to be singing some more contemporary songs in their famous acapella style that they do. Um, people really seem to enjoy that um, kind of, we mixed it up last year when they did the Christmas song. So we're kind of doing that again this year and just giving them a little bit of a fresh take right. this season. So we're super excited. We've also got a new show called A Brighter Day that's going to be in our back porch theater. You know, 2020 um, at Dollywood, we kind of wanted to, you know, kind of uplift people and inspire people with everything that was going on. So this show kind of carries that into our 2021 season. It's going to be a lot of pop and contemporary Christian music. Mm -hmm. It's really just meant to uplift people, put people in a better mood. And so we're really excited about that show. And then we also have our third new show called Harmonies of the Heart, and that is the Dolly Parton Family Show. If you came for Christmas, you probably saw that show. It had um, two of Dolly's nieces, a cousin, and then they were accompanied by a friend. They're going to be performing original songs, telling stories about their Aunt Granny, better known to most of us, known as Dolly. And so we're just really excited to be able to bring them back and give families a little bit of that Dolly um, inspiration they love when they're with us. Sure, and those are just a few of the reasons to renew your season pass, or if you don't have one, make sure and get one. You've also done some work on the Lightning Rod Roller Coaster. Yes, so many of you probably know that we closed the Lightning Rod towards the end of last year. That company that built that coaster came in and wanted to do some retracking. So now it is a hybrid coaster, so it's wooden and it's steel. And what that's gonna do is make it run more often and it's also gonna make it a much smoother ride. But all of the best parts have not changed. It's still gonna launch you up. It's still just as fast. And so we're super excited to be able to open that um, opening day since that was closed for a little bit of the season last year. All right, and also Jennifer, I understand that all of the theaters at Dollywood will be reopened this upcoming season, correct? Yes, we're so, so happy to be able to reopen our theaters. Um, we were able to reopen a few of our indoor theaters for Christmas last year, but throughout this season, we are going to be able to reopen all of our theaters. They may not be open all at one time, but they are all going to be open, um, as well as the Chasing Rainbows Museum. We're really happy to be able to reopen that. With everything Dolly has going on, everybody's always super interested in in Dolly, so we're excited to bring that back and let our guests um, go through her story once again. Our heart song, the movie experience is reopening. The Kingdom Airs are gonna be back. The Smoky Mountain String Band is gonna be back. Um, and then we're gonna have a lot more entertainment in our theaters um, as we open our festivals throughout the year. And Hickory House Barbecue and Dogs and Taters will also be back. Yes, so they're gonna be back. And one of the things that guests kind of let us know last year was that they wanted some more seating, um, outdoor seating specifically. Mm -hmm. So we have actually moved our blacksmith shop, which is right next to the Hickory House. We've moved it to another location just across the way. And we've taken that and opened it up and provided a lot more outdoor seating for people. So they're not having to sit on the sides um, and different edges. Um, there's just going to be a lot more seating for people there. And then we also did the same thing at Dogs and Taters. There's going to be some more seating there for people um, while they eat. Um, so we're excited to be able to bring that for people as well. We are looking forward to it, Jennifer. Thank you so much. And again, everything kicks off at Dollywood next week, correct? Absolutely. March 12th, if you're a season pass holder or a lodging guest, um, you can come for pass holder preview day. 
and the season officially kicks off next Saturday on March 13th. Sounds good, Jennifer. I know you guys will not get out of the park as always. Make sure and get your season passes. Renew them. Check it out, dollywood.com. Again, the website, dollywood.com.